Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage, the show where you sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they grew up classy or if they're complete trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful, scorching day here at Gash Digital Studios in the big studio in the East Village. It is sticky out there, gang. I got a lot of gold bond on right now. A lot of gold bond You can make powder. a cake down there if you want it. <laughs> my co-host is coming at us from right next to me. He's my good pal. Ladies and gentlemen, next time you're reaching for a best buddy, make it a kippy, because this kid tastes great and he's less filling. <laughs> Not too shabby. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Hey, gang. Thanks so much. What the hell was that? <laughs> happy to be here. I'm a little gassed. No, uh, happy to be here. Uh, guys, as always, uh, appreciate all the support so far. Uh, if you haven't already, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Also, full video available on YouTube. You can subscribe there as well. Mm -hmm. And it, to get all the bonus features, you can subscribe at to Gas Digital Network. Mm -hmm. uh, use promo code AYG. and yes, you get sir. This, you save a couple of bucks every month, and we get to wet our beak, and that's why we're fucking doing this. So use promo code AYG, baby. That's right. You get everything in HD, and who doesn't want to see the fat man in HD? But that's neither here nor there. We could not be more excited to have our very special guest here with us today. Mm -hmm. uh, she is one of the hosts of Zero Block 30 on Barstool Sports. She is the co-host of Chaps and Kate on Sirius XM. She is a United States Marine Ooh. Corps veteran. Two tours yes. in Afghanistan, the Helmand Province. That ain't fucking Rodeo Drive. I can tell you that, <laughs> Kippy. You and your good time buddy smoking doobies mm -hmm. down in the suburbs. She was out there fucking putting the work in. <laughs> but the big question in everybody's mind today, is she garbage? Ladies and gentlemen, give us a nice big round of applause for Kate Mannion, everybody. Yeah. Woo! I'll applaud myself. Yeah. Thank yeah. you yeah. so much. Yeah. Thank you for your service, yes. obviously. Thank you. I know that's yeah. probably corny to say. I don't know how veterans like that. No, you my welcome. dad always shies yeah. away from it, but <laughs> know, he'll get his free like... meal on Veterans Day <laughs> at Applebee's. I'll tell you that. That's I'm always like, oh no, no, no! But as soon as the free booze comes into it, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it was so hot over there, it was so hard. <laughs> yeah. So now here's the thing that we brought that up. I see a little uh, duality in this. Now, as you know, Kevin and I we're both garbage from suburban Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. Now you are a veteran, and and I, my eyes, our eyes, veterans can't be trash. Oh, I know. As a veteran and a Marine Corps, you'll say you can. All yes. right. I know some of those guys played fast and loose, <laughs> but that's a very classy thing. However. I also know that you grew up in Coatesville, Pennsylvania. True. Yes. yes. That's yes. a Rip tough City. one to bounce back from. Yes, Rip City, it is. as they their say. Main, their, their, their main export is ringworm. All right? It's not, <laughs> yes. not a good look. All right, so you have that going on. And I also know, doing a little research, mm -hmm. that you originally wanted to be a dental hygienist. Yes. Yes, I did. That is wow. the trashiest of all the dental professions. Especially down in that area. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of good digging in the oh, mind. The sure. dental yeah. hygienist who always was the coolest one in yes. the office, but also played it the most fast and the most loose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So very interesting show we have ahead of us. Do you think you're garbage? Immediately, yes. <laughs> I, feel like, I know. I was like, am I supposed to pretend like maybe I feel <laughs> yeah. good about myself, but I don't? I Well, actually, yeah. gentlemen, I don't believe that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, half my DMs all the time on social media are like, are you okay? Like, are you like, oh, okay, I should change a couple things in my life. But that's Is everything right. going all right with yeah, you yeah. right now? Yeah, you still haven't found your car yet, huh? Not yet, but uh, one of these days I will. Been so. there. Now. Is that a real thing? Are you missing the car? Well, I did find it again, but a good six months uh, and uh, over $1,000 worth of parking tickets. Oh. What? Yeah. How'd you lose the car? It's a long, uh, it was more of a, I knew kind of where it was, but I knew there was parking tickets on it and I just didn't want to see it. So I was like, ah, fuck it. And then all of a sudden it was six months later and I was like, COVID oh. hit. And I was like, I kind of would like to be able to get out of the city. Wow. Six months of alternate side parking tickets. Yes. That's it was fucking still there. steep. That's no crazy that it's still there. Yeah. So they all the money me I saved. They jacked me in Queens. 
Yeah, I know. All the money I saved during COVID, not being a dirt bag at the bars, went to being went a to dirt bag a th- on the street. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Holy mm-hmm. shit. That's a real dirt bag move. Yes. Yeah. Talk got, about kicking the can down the road. That's uh, tomorrow's problem. Yeah. I got real hemmed up with that. I had my, my car up here, and the same thing. I would get tickets. Oh, I get a couple of days, I'll pay it. And I would monitor it. Mm-hmm. But once it gets to like 400 bucks, then they slap the boot on you. Yep. But the boot's like four bills. So yeah. I go out one day to move the car. I got this sticker on there, and I call the place. They're like, you owe $800, or we're towing it in a couple of minutes. Mm-hmm. I was on the phone to Patty Foley right quick. <laughs> I'm like, Ma, yeah. we got to straighten this out. She's like, what do you think you're going to do? I'm like, "What? The- I'm fucking doing it. What do yep. you mean? Mm-hmm. Cut the fucking check. Always a good time. Yeah. Six Always months. Mm-hmm. Why, why do they call Coats, what is it, Coatesville, Rip City? Oh, Rip Hamilton. He was a... NBA player, and I think that's like the only, it's been like two decades now, and it's still this banner that hangs over the town, like, welcome to Rip City, that's what we got. We used to wrestle Coatesville High School in in high school, and those kids all smelled like burning wood. (laughs) Every one of them, their main source of heat was either coal or wood pellets. That's my favorite story as of late, is that they finally built this new park, and there's always so much corruption in the town and everything. They finally built this new park, and everyone was so excited because they put one of those splash pads in it where the kids could play Mm -hmm. my parents went to visit it and they're like yeah we went to check it out and immediately somebody drove their car up onto it and started washing their car (laughs) so it's like all right uh, we're getting better that ain't kenny bunkport i can tell you that yeah trash dude uh (laughs) oh my god shout out to goatsville yeah dude there's some towns i'm from bucks you're from where montgomery Montgomery yeah there's some of the you know, I'm sure it's like it around the rest of the country, but like there is just garbage roots and garbage DNA in those people outside of Philadelphia. It's just like this blue collar, yeah, trash that you can never shake. But because we're proud of it, that's why. I, yeah, we have no qualms <laughs> yeah. with it. No, yeah. imagine having the balls to drive your car up to a new park, <laughs> a kids' water park, and wash yeah. your fucking wheel wells. That's yeah. crazy. Zero shame. Yeah, Roll it's nuts. It. Moving the nine year olds out of the way so you can get a fucking <laughs> yeah. Get the can you kids get off. the fuck out of the way? <laughs> yeah, I went mud in last night it was one of those towns like too when i finally i ended up dropping out of college but when i went to college and kids were like oh you're from coatesville that's where my church went every summer to help fix up the that's like where the team groups yeah. are going. i'm like oh i was in the peace corps there yeah yeah okay thank you thanks for the new roof guys appreciate it my mom and i yeah the new roof and the powdered milk my we cousin it. my cousin did that she joined you know like some like church group she was like i want to give back when she was in her like, th- like early 20s She's or something in her house yeah no and she lives in kensington and she yeah. went to the two places and they were like well, the two, she went to some organization like, well, we either send you to Georgia or Kensington. So she's like, you could just do your neighborhood. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. If you really want How about to. you just get your shit together? <laughs> yeah. Call it back. yeah. Start at home. Will tell you? your neighbors to cut the grass. Yeah. So tell us about growing up at Coatesville. Uh, what was the situation? Do you have brothers, sisters, mom, dad? What was the? Give us the works. Yeah. So my parents are Delaware County. They're Delco, Ooh. Drexel Hill, and Havertown. Oh, uh, they're two nicer. They're ni- on the nicer edge. Nicer I think. Nicer edges. They met at the Swell Bubblegum Factory, which I love. Wow. They, yeah. There, it's a YMCA now, but they met at a bubblegum factory. My dad was That's like fucking Willy really Wonka. Wonka there? Yeah. My dad was like the gumball room supervisor. My mom was like the gumball lady, and he looked what? in there. He was like, what, Oh a yeah, Billy Joel, right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we're in that town. We're living here in Gumball Town. (laughs) Yes. So whenever we drive by that wine now, my dad's like, see that parking spot right there? I got your mother. First time, yeah. (laughs) Said it was my birthday. We made out. gave her a piece of hubba bubba. She was all mine. Yeah. So that's my dad's one of 13 and like a huge family, of course. Irish Catholic. Irish Catholic. My mom's of one course. of nine Irish Catholic. Can't go through Delco without, like, you don't want to honk your horn at somebody. It's probably your Aunt Rita or something. <laughs> sure. Like, you don't want to be rude. Of course. Um, and then they moved out to Coatesville, just my brother and I. So that's it. Small family out that way. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I would say, like, middle, like, mid, what's your dad middle do? Class. He was on the business end of, like, a dialysis company. He got his history teacher degree. Okay. But then kids came along. Ended up working at like the hospital out there and got into like the dialysis business, the business end. The dialysis, that's not game. bad. White collar, no. that's good. Yeah, yeah. Cool. not digging ditches. No. There you go. That's so, all right. He yeah. left the gumball factory. Left the gumball factory and moved his way up. And then my mom <laughs> Dude, was a speech pathologist. So. A speech wow. pathologist. Uh huh. So she That's knocked crazy. the Delco accent right out of my, like, yo, water? You said water? Get it out of there. No, yeah. It'd be funny so. if she was teaching people to have a worse Philly yeah. accent. Yeah. So class What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today, no. class, we're going to say use and John. I see her face when some of my dad's sisters are talking, and oh, I'm like, don't. Just probably cringeworthy. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking funny. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty normal. Nothing too crazy. 
a little bit like right outside Coatesville in the boonies, like okay. had farms on right? either side. Yeah. It gets a little rural out there pretty quick. Yeah. And but, I was the only, like all my neighborhood, they all went to the private and Catholic schools, but my parents were like, we're paying taxes. You're going to Coatesville. You're going to public. Sure. That's a very so, old school Irish mentality. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. paying the taxes for the school. You're going to the school. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, any local farms where you got ice cream from out there? Local farms uh, in the nicer area, Chester Springs or whatever. There was that one where you could like look at the cows yeah. or whatever. Oh, Never went, good. but we drove by it a lot. <laughs> and my, my you got mom, Briars at home. Shut up. Yeah, my mom's favorite joke was like, especially when we were little, who wants ice cream? And me and my brother would be like, yeah, and then she'd just speed by it. <laughs> and I was like, that was the joke. Yeah, that's a dirtbag move. My yeah. dad used to do that shit all the time. Yeah. What the fuck was your mom Steve O? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That was like her just great joy. It. Yeah, it was that or who wants to go bowling and either one we just zip by it ah that's fucking too funny yeah all right so we got that single family home you said single family home very yeah. nice driveway to home nine yards driveway it got shellacked every summer by the guy who came through yeah, and shined it up yeah well, yeah it's with that nice black coat yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice to start the summer off. I love that. I know. So maybe I'm not guard guys. I don't know. We had a what basketball was, well, pole. You did have a basketball we had net. A ba- bees came out of it all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> real. Yeah, but yeah. it was there nonetheless. Yeah, so I killed a murder awesome. hornet not that long ago. You know, the murder hornets are moving into. Did you check his New York ID City? first? What do you yeah, mean? what's the? Because they're like that big, you can't miss them. They're not here. Yeah, they are. There was one in my garage the other day. <laughs> was cicada killer? It looked like a cicada killer. So I might have, okay, too. truth be told, <laughs> truth be told, I wasn't sticking around. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. thing was huge and scary. Yeah. And I went into the garage and grabbed the fucking can of wasp spray and hit him. He died. Mm-hmm. So he was either a cicada killer or a, hor- a murder hornet. All right. But you're going with the scarier store to impress people. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there I was. A swarm of them. I had I two of them. The one yeah. had my wallet. I'm I tell an Afghan yeah. vet about my, my trials and tribulations. I know exactly what you mean. I was, uh, yeah. I was chasing a ladybug one time in my house. Well, I did watch my, also, I guess not to sound classier, we did have a separate shed and our own Ooh. lawnmower, and I did watch my dad run over a yellow jacket nest on oh. it once and get completely fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, big time. What, well, did he get all fucking lit up? Oh, yeah, and then he ran in the house, and my mom was like, get out of the house! Like, all the bees, and she, like, kicked him back out, and so, yeah, no bees in the you house. You made your choices. Yeah. Get out yeah. there. Yeah. You can die. It's fine. Yeah, so. Uh, was, was it a riding mower or a push mower? Riding mower. So. A couple Remember acres the... back there? couple, a, I'd say. Pool? One and a half? No. no Trampoline? Pool. No. Jungle gym? Tether ball. Tetherball. <laughs> what is this? The 1920s. Holy shit. Tetherball. That was my big 13th birthday surprise. What? <laughs> I had all the girls over to play Tetherball in the back. <laughs> that's pretty classy. That no, like, that's <laughs> trash. No, Who's Tetherball's playing? classy. No, it's not. Yeah. Yes, it is. This isn't Badminton's the... garbage. <laughs> yeah. Tetherball's all right. Yeah. Huh. I don't know about that. Tetherball? Did he have like... to pour like the concrete in to set the pole? They didn't do that. <laughs> like very, kept having to put it went all over the yard and just ah, different all right. Yeah, all right. Here now we go. Getting, now yeah. we're getting into it's the hanging neighborhood. over in the winter. Yeah. So. Oh my god! I always thought it was real classy at certain playgrounds. They had that game where it was like a big cup, and you would throw the ball into the thing, and it would come out at one of the different things. Yeah. That blew me away. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> you didn't get out much, did you? That blew you away. <laughs> Real huh. plastic and not jaggedy metal. But yeah. That's a fancy. That's pretty fancy classy. Ground. Tetherball. All right. That's okay. a that's a are you garbage first. Tetherball. Tetherball. We're getting yeah. a, we're getting a picture here. Right. Um let's launch into a little bit of are you garbage. Okay. okay. We're gonna ask you a series of questions. Please answer them to, uh, to the best of your ability. Answer them honestly. <laughs> okay. And if they start spark any memories, the worse the memory is, the better. Okay. Please feel free to tell us. You are talking to two pieces of trash. <laughs> Okay. So you already got the tether ball. You already beaten both of us. So don't All right. worry. All right. Um, start out with a couple of the basics that we like to do on the show here. What was the name of the street that you grew up on? Roland Road. Fancy. Roland Road. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. Fully paved. Roland Road. Uh, later in life, it was. It was. It was that oh, like God. gray super. We all got rollerblades for Christmas, and it would like hurt. You know, it was like Ugh, like your legs. Got I know that, that but, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. That's trashy. Sorta. Yeah. Uh-huh. It wasn't a service road or anything, was no, it? No, not a service road. Okay. No. Any highways near you? No. Like your house didn't back up to one of those uh, like oh, overpasses or something. Strasburg Road, one yard between us. One yard between us and that's kind a of buffer. Highway. That's enough of a yeah. buffer. Okay. We had we'll a give buffer. It to you. Was it a turnpike behind you? No, not a turnpike. All right, fair okay. enough. Pretty yeah. good. Okay. Pretty All right. Good. Did you have a garage? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Big question on all you garbage. Did you have a garage fridge? 
No, did wow. not have a garage fridge. No. Even now? Even now. Still? No. Well, they live in an, like an apartment now. Okay. Okay. 55 and up. Okay. They left. Yeah. That's classy. You move to the 55 and older, yes. let them take care uh-huh. of it. Sell yeah. the house, the property value. About the yard, yep. fucking mm-hmm. clean living. Yeah, mm-hmm. it sucks for us because my parents are starting to think about doing that, and that'll be a sad day when I when when, when I lose when, the house. When, when you're legally not allowed in their apartment anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Aww. Terry and Patty, your fat son can't come over anymore. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, there was no second fridge anywhere. Not a basement fridge. Not a single one. Wow. Was the was the basement refinished? No. Ooh. Shitty basement. We had a ping pong table though. Ooh. For what it's worth. Not yeah. Bad. But there was a lot of like Christmas decorations and all that shit. Boxes. Oh, a lot of junk, like an old telescope that we never used. Was there like... a dehumidifier down there in the yes, basement? It flooded all the time. <laughs> yeah. Everything was up on those of little course. racks. Or well, Every now and then, like a tropical storm would come through. And when I was a kid, it was like the most dramatic. Like, our house uh, is like. Our house, fine. we're underwater. Yeah, yeah, I did the same shit. When yeah. you walk down into somebody's basement and you're a kid and you just get that waft of musky mold. Yeah, shit. you're just like, ah, man. Dude, we did it. Yeah. We redid ours in like the early 90s. And like fully redid it. It was like we're gonna be for the kids, big basement, and it just flooded every year. And then they just never. It just like just cut the drywall off like a foot high. Just accept. And my mom it. would be like, "Your friends are over. Go play down the pit." I'm like, "This shit's embarrassing, yeah. lady. This is like an active construction site." There's a little mold. A yeah, little mold down there. We have a situation going on at my parents right now. Um, they had a bar put in in their shower. They have a stand up shower. They had the bathroom redone. They really like to party up. Huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's through my dad for, like, you know, uh, sturdiness or whatever, so you can have something. But fucking a couple days ago when I was home, all of a sudden we get downstairs in the basement, and it's leaking through the drop ceilings. Real trashy, mm. by the way. Drop you got ceilings. drop ceilings in your house? Drops. Well, we don't need more because they got all soaked <laughs> with black mold. So you got exposed ceilings <laughs> yeah. in your house? And fucking, and, uh, and like, saran wrap up everywhere, that plastic shit. We got a big oh. leak in the bathroom. They can't figure it out. We've had two plumbers and a contractor there. They can't figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. But we got black mold in the basement. <laughs> Quit bragging, dude. You guys got to... I got to talk to your mom. She's got to get to that 55 and older. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you guys a card. There yeah, you go. A little right? brochure. Yeah, from where mine are living. They're talking about it because I am I was driving my well, dad... Well, if they keep living there, they're going to fuck that house up and no <laughs> one's going to want to buy it. We were driving to my brother's when I was home and my dad drove by this brand new 55. He's like, that's what we're thinking. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, you don't want to live there. What are you talking about? Because I want to get the house eventually. Yeah. At, or at the right price. <laughs> they love it. They are in the middle apartment, and their big brag is that they never turn their heat or air conditioning on because it's insulated, which is not true. It's like a nightmare anytime you stay there. It's like it's either boiling or freezing. Yeah, what their the lights fuck? are always off. I'm like, what do you guys do? What is okay? with that with parents, I don't man? Know. In the winter, it'll be freezing in there. My mom yeah. will be like, it's good for you. I'm like, no, it's not. In the summer, yeah. it's fucking boiling hot. Dude, my parents sit around in fucking. My mom will sit on the couch and watch Fox News in a fucking <laughs> yes. winter jacket. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah. this is ridiculous. Uh-huh. She's like, well, put some clothes on. I'm like, I got a hoodie on, lady. I'm not walking around in a fucking snowsuit. Yeah, yep. what the fuck? Trying to relax a little bit. Holy shit. So, right. yes. No okay. garage fridge, no, no second garage fridge. fridge. That's a strike against you, I, I have know. to say. I know. What was the name of the supermarket you went to growing up? Acme. Class. Yeah. Classy. Class. Classy. Acme, middle Acme. of the road. Yep. Mm-hmm. Does anyone in your family pronounce it Acme? Acme, yes. I have uh, several ants that do. Yes, <laughs> Going down there to the Acme. Yeah, Aunt Mary Pat Divistano, whatever, <laughs> reincarnate. Yes, definitely. What? Definitely the Acme. Wegmans was above. Ooh. That was not. Wegmans is classy. Yeah, the top the of the line. Right. So that's like Stu Leonard's up here, I guess. I yeah, Stu say. Leonard's is nice. They got a nice deli counter at Stu yeah. Leonard's. Fresh. A little bit above. Acme. Paper thin, they cut that ham. I don't know what they cut it with. <laughs> I know. But it's Tell fantastic. Hmm. Yeah. So Acme was the... And what is it? Rite Aid? Or no, no. Uh, ShopRite. Can Can. ShopRite. Yeah. ShopRite can, was can. the, I the Can Can ads. The yeah. Yeah. commercial. Yeah. Classy. It was Acme Shop, or ShopRite. frozen orange juice over Shop there. ShopRites were all right. ShopRites Shop Shop are, are pretty yeah. good. Okay. Getting a picture. Getting a picture. Uh-huh. What was the lunch situation when you were a kid? Would you pack a lunch or would your mom or would give you money for school? Usually packed. And we had to pack it ourselves. Kind of thing. So, yeah. That's tough Were love they right military? There. and Jay? No. No. Not military. Making your own lunch. Fuck I know. that. I would have lost it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Try and sneak as many star crunches as I could oh, in there. Oh, those things are so good. Yeah. Once I hit Little like Debbie's. middle. Middle in high school, it was like a dollar fifty that a lot of times that she would give me, and I would just get a Snapple and Otis Bunkmeyer cookies was the go-to. Let me tell you something. Oh, I don't yeah. know if that's a local thing or not, 
but Otis Spunkmeyer <laughs> cookies <laughs> oh, hit so the fucking good. Eastern Seaboard. Or something like else. Fucking thriller. Yep. They baked them for an average of 3.2 seconds. <laughs> yeah, they were basically down. raw. They were so soft. Yep. But dude, four of those and a fucking Snapple, good night. Yeah. Yep. Fan- they were a quarter. For too. years, that's like all I had for lunch, mm-hmm. pretty much. Oh. Yeah, we were big Rosa. Our school had Rosenberger's iced tea. Remember, <laughs> Ro- oh. do I? Yeah. Fucking put their kids through college. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking okay. good yeah. stuff. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. I got it. All right. I got it. I got a pack basic. your lunch. That's kind of a classy thing. I'm gonna say. I know. I'm sorry, but paper bag. I didn't have a fancy. I say. Pack. I think. I, I think the paper bag is class. It's like. The reusable, dirty, you're right. washing it out. It's yeah. like, what are we doing here? Pay a dollar fifty for a fifty pack, and you're good for a couple of weeks, you know. Plus, those kids that had—if you had a lunchbox, that's fine. Yeah, right? you have a legit lunchbox, that's fine. But I remember when kids started having those like square. They were like, they'd have a th- uh, like a thing of dry ice in yes. there, like an ice pack. Yeah, yeah. That, that kid was always a fucking nerd. Chump. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He was High water real nerd. Lunch speed walkers. Those kids speed walked. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then you get, yeah. My mom, my mom, every year would be like, I bought you this for back to school. I'm like, you're fucking no, nuts. If you yeah. think I'm taking, I'm not bringing anything home from school. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm not carrying this around with me all day. I wasn't even a book bag guy. I hated book bags. Ugh. I would just carry one book or two. I still. I'm like th- I'm, I'm big like, school bag guy. Can't stop yeah. it. Yeah, do you call it a book bag or a school bag? I call it backpack. Ooh, uh, that's I'm fancy. I feel really good about myself. That's fancy. I came in here thinking school I was bags garbage. the trashiest. <laughs> like, you might turn it on us. I, I don't know. know. I'm starting to feel good. Very feel interesting good. here. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got one. Does that when you go to a family party, does anybody in your family serve buffalo chicken dip? Always. Oh. Always, always, always. Without question. Hoagie dip, buffalo Hoagie chicken dip. Hoagie dip. Hey, oh, got yeah. it. Hoagie dip. Oh, <laughs> for the baby. listener out there yeah. that's not from the Philadelphia, hoagie dip is what we call garbage. <laughs> oh it has God, shredded it's lettuce. So good. It's great. Oh. It's great. Whenever I'm hammered and I come back like down the shore, from whatever, the, go back from eat it with my bare hands. Oh, I just, yeah. oh god, yeah. Hors d'oeuvres are the best. I the love fucking, fucking hors d'oeuvres. I don't yeah. know if hoagie dip classifies as an hors d'oeuvre <laughs> fully. It. Though I don't think the French would co-sign on that. Okay, so there's it's always, an appetizer at best. <laughs> the hoagie dip, the buffalo chicken, and then there's always those. Why are they always wet? Those pretzel nuggets from the pretzel factory. They're oh, always yeah, wet. They are. The pretzel, pretzel it's tray. The pretzel. It's the salt. Yeah. yeah, the salt like brings out the all the I, liquid. I know. I just. I did a family party down in Wildwood, New Jersey, and we oh, had... Oh, you're garbage. Oh, pure trash. <laughs> yeah. Pure. Yeah. That's oh, why sorry. we have the show. Yeah. Everybody goes, you're trash. We're like, yeah, we know. That's why. Yeah. Um, we had... Uh, first of all, we rented a pirate ship for my cousin's birthday. <laughs> oh, Went out so on a pirate ship. It was like 25. That's why, whatever. Yeah. We had hoagie dip, buffalo an oil chicken. tanker? <laughs> 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 Kippy's the captain we, now. Yeah, we stole yeah. it. Uh, buffalo chicken dip, hoagie dip, and the the taco dip. Did you ever do taco yes. dip? Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. taco dips trashy. Can't go wrong. So, so good. and then it's just a bunch of drunk, fucking potato headed Irishmen <laughs> digging their hands in there. It's yep. fucking gross. Drunk barehanded. So I was at a communion party with family, and they got a. Uh, Crucifix pretzels, soft pretzel crucifixes. Oh. We're all like dunking in the dips and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's the best. Speaking in of the that. name of the Father, the Son, and the garbage. Yeah. You know what that reminds me of? We had a we had an Italian section of our family, and every Easter, uh, somebody's grandmother would make uh, like this famous Italian cookie for Easter. But it would be like a shortbread cookie, but it would just have a hard boiled egg just plopped in the center. <laughs> A hole what? in the shell, <laughs> not collared or in anything. In the shell? Just in the shell, like a whole hard-boiled egg just fucking sitting in the middle of the cookie. Huh. She's a real go fucking... Go back to cooking class or <laughs> yeah. something. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Huh. The communion party, though, that's... Yeah. I'll you don't, you don't realize how good the Jewish kids had it. Jewish kids were pulling right. 20, 30 yeah. Gs. At a bar mitzvah, yeah. yeah. Did you see any of your that's communion money? One. Do you remember? I don't remember, but I will say my communion party was like one of the biggest bangers of my life like it was fucking sick Aerosmith played yeah my dad would DJ on the weekends to make extra money he would he had to borrow the equipment from somebody else but he would DJ all around and so he like I had so I had all the official DJ equipment at my community party yeah that's the shit as as an 8 year old or whatever it was yeah and we're like we could request you know so we're like requesting all the songs and the whole family came out yeah I got I remember opening the money. I don't remember what happened yeah. to it. Yeah, we never, no, you never it. see it. Happened. You yeah. never see it. Yeah. And I hate to say it, the tetherball's nice. The part time DJ, that's going down in the fucking. <laughs> <right there. laughs> yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Where, where was the communion party? In my backyard. Ooh, okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Halls are really driveway. trashy. A halls. Yeah. People yeah. rent a hall. It was not at a firehouse where a lot of the others were. Yeah. yeah. So. They're real good. Yeah. Spent a lot of time at a VFW. I have. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh huh. Make the best meatballs. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Their meatballs and mashed potatoes are fucking top shelf. Mm. I don't know what they put in the sterno, but it's fucking great. Yeah, there's also no windows ever in a VFW. No. It's all, it's like you're walking into a fucking black box. It's cold as shit. Not a lot of spicy air in there. Yeah. Yeah. Spicy air. Not a lot of progressive thinking either. No. All the beers are served in solo, like the clear solo cups. (laughs) You know what's bad? I was in the military and I very rarely get nervous. I get shaky when I'm walking into one. I'm like, I don't belong in here. (laughs) Me and my vagina tits do not belong in this. Yeah. yeah. Try walking in with four black comedians. (laughs) They get real fucking choice. With the words, yeah, it's big laughs terrible. tonight. Yeah, how do you feel about uh, Pillsbury products? Uh, big, I grew up on crescent rolls. Oh, the, come on, I don't know if they were always name brands, but definitely slamming them on the counter. The, the explosion, pop. there's Off something brand about crescent that pop. rolls that's <laughs> a level of trash. Crescent rolls are trash. See, the, a lot of the gr- yeah. good things are just trashy. Yes. It's like if you're making if you're making bread in five minutes, there's the, you know, <laughs> right. you're cutting yeah, some corners. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's true. There's no <laughs> leavening agent. Ma- yeah, yeah, making bread is an art. People study their whole life to make bread, and then yes. you know it's just like these fucking housewives <laughs> slamming it down and throwing it in the oven. Those my mom the... burnt them every fucking night. Oh, yeah. But they were still. Love them burnt. Still Dude, the, 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 on them. the brown bottom. Yeah, them and hot dogs. The bur- more burnt the hot dog is, the more I'm in. I agree. Oh, Roast it. Yeah. yeah. Get a nice yep. ballpark, charred on the outside, medium rare in the center. Yep. All in. Um, you mentioned the shore. Where do you go to the shore? Oh, see, I'm going to sound fancy again. Seattle City. Yeah. Very I nice. do a mix of Anglesey, Wildwood, yes. a little bit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Seattle City is the. Mm-hmm. His one cousin has a house down here in Seattle. Oh, I, grew yeah. to, I grew up going to Seattle. Same here. Every, every year of our life, my dad's whole family would rent out like an entire block mm-hmm. where it's like four families jammed into one house kind of thing. Sure, and then sure, the whole. Sure. Yeah. We're next to the Acme. Did you ever take a vacation 46. where multiple cars followed each other? Pretty much. That. My whole life, that was the vacation. Like I, when I finally joined the military, I that was the farthest I'd I had never gone past Indiana, and I was like, "Holy fuck, a real cactus!" Like I remember being like, like blown away by like real palm trees and shit. I was like, "Whoa!" And yeah, I was yeah. twenty something at that point. So yeah, that was oh. Jersey Shore. Was it? Was that it? Was like, yeah, yeah, that was big. Yeah, well, like yeah, there's there's parts of Seattle that are classy, and some no, not parts, but like it still draws some trash. Absolutely, trash oh. still goes. It was sure. built yeah. on trash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it got they 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 kind of turned they turned it around for themselves yeah. in the eighties. Yeah, the it Jersey did. Shore was complete garbage. I'd say up until the nineties. Mm-hmm. Maybe Avalon or someplace like that. Yeah, there's money there. Yeah, I mean, I quarantined in Wildwood. That's where I went. I went oh, down. nice. And oh, so well, was, look at you. you yeah, wow. Quarantine. You had a space to go quarantine. You wow. said that like such. A... I was saying it because it's <laughs> trash. <laughs> But whatever, yeah, I guess I'm classy. I quarantined. Wow. Well, I, yeah, I, well, that's what I'm going to say. I quarantine. I, I summer in wild from see. herpes. He didn't have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Had to keep him off the board. Get that batch. hot lip. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on putting chips on a sandwich? Always. Yeah. Always. 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 Very nice. Yeah. I can't. I feel like I feel lost without it at this point. And I'm a big. So I still eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Of like, course you. That's my go-to. Are you chunky or creamy? Creamy. Thank no you. chunks at all, Chunky, and it's got to be salt and vinegar or like Ooh. spicy chips. Got to okay. go on the PB and J. You put it on, you put the, it on the PB and J. Oh yeah. Oh Ooh. always, always. Yes. That's some trash. Yeah. I like it. that one. I get home. I fucking like salt always. and vinegar chip on a PB and J. It's you got. Don't Sweet knock until you try it. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, I like a dill pickle with my peanut butter and jelly on it. Yeah, on the side. Yeah. Like a gentleman. If I'm hammered, I'll put chips on anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is a little regional, but how do you feel about the product known as tomato pie? Uh, Were you a tomato pie family? I... We, I don't love it. Okay. Yeah. I know. I like upside down Sicilians hot, but I never really love the tomato pie. It was at the at the communion party or d'oeuvre table. It was sure, always there. It's out. Yeah, always okay. my last choice. Yes. For, the, for the listener out there that's yeah. not uh, you know not from the area, that's tomato pie trash. is like. Um, it's like a square pizza that's served cold, and it just has like a really thick red sauce on top. Yeah, it's delicious. Shout out to Corpolis in it, East Norton. It's an acquired taste. I feel like if you're a kid eating tomato pie, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like you should, you should have to be twenty to eat a tomato oh, pie. Oh, yeah. I see the kids lap it down like fucking mother's milk. We love it. <laughs> Big tomato pie family. With the cookies with the eggs in them, and yeah, yeah. yeah. we're starting. We're learning pie. a lot about you. Right. That just jogged my memory. That's crazy, man. Uh-huh. 
We used to be like, what the fuck is this? And they used to give them out like they were handing out fucking stacks of hundreds. Like You would get that as you were leaving Easter. They'd be like, don't forget to take your cookie home with you. It's like, this ain't making it to the fucking car. <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the garden. Uh. Mm. Okay, does anyone in your family pronounce the days of the week as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. yeah, my aunt, I immediately Aunt Peggy comes to aunt mind. Dude. But yeah, Aunt Peggy is the classic is fucking the classic. Irish Catholic woman from Philadelphia. Does yeah. she play the lottery? Probably. Odds are good. She has a place in Anglesey. Yeah, well. she does. Always down at the Anglesey pub. Yeah, yeah. She definitely, definitely. For now, I have a few aunts. All my aunts are coming to mind, but they definitely have the Delco vibe. Yeah, pretty strong. Hmm. And well, Deptford, New Jersey. It's a little bit of a mix there. I always I only hear yeah. Deptford on the local radio when there's like a car auction. Or something yeah. like that. That's when you come on down to Deaf yeah. yeah. Well, it's f- so outside of Philadelphia. If people who got money, real trashy people who got money, moved to Depp, moved to Jersey because they thought it was like I'm gonna get my, you know, wait till my number comes in, get a couple of bucks, yeah. and I'm moving out to. Gonna live like I'm putting king. this whole town behind me. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now it's now South Jersey is just all trashy people, <laughs> one generation removed from Philadelphia. Yeah. Huh. What mm-hmm. was the pet situation growing up? Just one. Had one fish from the strawberry festival, the <laughs> shitty fair at the. How uh, long did it live? Hospital. Yeah, uh, two days. Yeah. His name, was, name was Night Mover. Because <laughs> uh, he only moved one night. And Light sleeper, that was huh? It. Yeah, Night Mover the fish, and then a cat, a black cat named Jet. Okay, so, that's respectable. Respectable. A lot of people were saying that if you name pet names that are human names is trashy. Yeah. No. Yeah. If you have a dog named Gary or something. <laughs> I had a dog. I had a German Shepherd named Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's because your parents claimed them on the income tax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, no turtles, no snakes, no hermit crabs. Nothing. Ferrets, Nothing. hamsters, guinea pigs. We were not a big. Uh, there was a huge nest of bees that lived in there. <laughs> <long time. laughs> your dad eventually More killed. Bees, yeah. It was like that scratching. So, dad, I hear scratching in the wall. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. And then it turns out there's like a thousand bees an inch wow. from like breaking through the wall. Kind Holy of thing. shit! Yeah. Infestation. So they were kind of like my. They were yeah. They were close near and dear pets. to you. Yeah. Did you ever have a bad infestation like that growing up? No, I just said our Wildwood house got termites this year. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We had skunks oh. for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pull up the driveway and you see all their little eyeballs looking no, at you. Oh, they mm-hmm. fucking frightened me. And they somehow got yeah. in, in underneath like the like where the steps are to get into my to get into my parents' house. They like dug through the concrete somehow, like, you know, on the side. And they were like they were practically in the house. They were like in the crawl space. They yeah. chewed their way in. It smelled like skunk in there for like three <laughs> summers. That's Summers, great. dude, it was bad. You <laughs> when you gonna you call anybody? Yeah, we did. We had someone get rid of him, but it took the guy like six months to kill him. This guy came out. He was like, "Fucking yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing." I think I've told this before. He set up like six traps yeah. around my parents' house. I woke up the next morning. We went out. There was six different animals in the fucking traps. <laughs> None of ones? which were fucking skunks. <laughs> it was like two possums, a dog, a squirrel. Yeah. Your dad stuck in one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we definitely thought. <laughs> Hmm. That's fucking garbage. All right, no pets. Yeah, no pets. Pretty classy. Really. One cat. I know. I'm more and more. I'm feeling. You're. You're. You know. I'm feeling better. I say you're on the line. You're on the line. I'm yeah, starting yeah. to sit taller and look yeah, down she's like, on yeah, you. Yeah, you fucking pieces I'm of trash. I'm slowly looking down. Yeah. The dad yeah. DJing on the sides. Uh huh. He never DJed anything that you were at socially as a kid. Like you didn't catch him at like the prom or anything. No, but every he we would throw a big St. Patrick's Day party every year. That's cool in the garage, and oh, that was where they would decorate trash. it. And he would rent the he would do the DJ equipment, and then after the party, I would always get to rollerblade around in the garage to whatever I wanted. While everybody was like all hammered. How big was the garage? Very small. <laughs> I, was, I like, could barely fit one car. <laughs> I was like, this guy's running a speakeasy. Yeah, yeah. we had people run over our mailbox every year. It was always like a. Shit show. Oh, oh that was man. special times. Did you yeah. ever get in trouble when you were a kid? Did you ever get busted by the cops? Um, in college I did, but at home, no. I was really good at sneaking, sneaking around. Yeah. What was the college? What college. college? <laughs> I played rugby in college. Okay. And okay. I like watched Tommy Boy and Animal House as a kid and was like, that's what I uh, wanna yeah. be. Sure. And so I really dedicated. So went to college, joined the rugby team, moved into the rugby house. We were having this huge party, and I had broken a couple ribs at a game that day. God so damn. So Mama had a couple of Vicaroons <laughs> in her system. And, now you're speaking yeah, a big man's language. Yeah. So I had a couple of pain pills, and then we, we had played West Virginia. <laughs> And they were like, we, they brought up this big jar of weed that was like super pwned. Mm-hmm. So I'm smoking that, and everybody goes out to the bars, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be responsible and wait right here. You guys come back, I'll be here. Yeah, you didn't want to leave the Viking in the so That's what it Viking was. Alone. So I was sitting on our stoop drinking a 40 ounce, just waiting for my buddies to come back. <laughs> I think back. we just passed the line. 
And the rugby house is literally right across the street from the Indiana County Jail, like literally 20 feet, just a regular little street. And they're like the prisoners would always look down and wave at us and they could see our address. They would write us letters Jeez. and stuff. And like, yeah, dear girl in the purple hoodie last Tuesday, balls in your court now, like shit like that. You're like, all right. Oh, you got to give that's ingenuity yeah. on their end, though. They'll nice. figure it out. Exactly. So I'm sitting there and I'm drinking or whatever. And this guy comes up and he's like, oh, you rugby girls are crazy because sometimes the cops would come out and be like, hey you're getting them all riled up. Can you take the party out back or something? Cause they would be like fighting for window space and stuff. What? It was really like, yeah. So I was sitting on the stoop and I was drinking this 40 ounce and I was like, I, I had the spinnies like full on already. I, I remember yeah, sitting you're all there. Up. Hold on, using the word spinnies, <laughs> that's yeah. going to get you too. I, yeah. I had just texted a guy too. I like booty called him. I was like, hey, you up? Like I was feeling like a 10 at that <laughs> yeah. moment. On top of the I, world, I, baby. Yeah, I probably looked like a rat like on the front. So I was like, hey. So I just texted him. So as he's coming over the hill and the rugby, some of the rugby girls are still partying in the house. But this guy comes up. He's like, oh, you rugby girls are crazy, blah, blah, blah. I remember him saying something like, I bet you won't smash that bottle or something like that. That's entrapment. <laughs> well, I was like, I bet you psh, right into the street. I smashed it. Next thing you know, I remember him like lunging for my legs and me holding on to the house. And then people, I, whatever. Long story short, I got, uh, I maybe got a little swingy with the cop. Ooh, I got a little. That's a piece of shit move, yeah. though. That's entrapment. Well, see, this is how I remember it is that he asked me. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, sure, yeah. So she was like, probably like, know. Hey, hey, listen, jerk off. You don't think I'll smash this bottle, do this you? This took place yeah. in the police station that you walked over to. In hindsight, I probably thought he was the booty call I called over. I was like, this will get his dick hard. <laughs> like, I don't know. This will get so, him rock hard. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but it took, ended up taking, they had to pull a cop car up. I was, I'm a wiggler. I don't like to brag. I'm very hard to get in cuffs. You resisted? I resisted. I swung. I was doing the worm. I just remember looking up as they were cuffing me and then seeing the guy I had called, like, standing in the flash. Oh, oh, back an hour. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Third room at the top of the <laughs> yeah, stairs. Yeah. So that Don't was, touch uh, my Vikes. Yeah, that was a thing. Wow. Uh-huh. Holy yeah. shit. All right, yeah. that's kind of what we're looking for. arrest. Yes. Kate. I know, I'm a wiggler. It's not my fault, man. I just, <laughs> that's yeah. not the term. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah resisting. I'm sorry, I got the jitters. Yeah, yeah. I like how you have these cute little words for <laughs> yeah. these horrible things. Yeah, so I took a couple Vikings, shot some Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I beat up yeah. a copy. No big deal. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. What was the name of the school you went to? Did we already say this? Indiana University of Pennsylvania. I-U-P. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. Anytime you go to a university in of that state in another state, yes. right. it's right always Right next to California that. University Cal- of Pennsylvania. Cal-U, Pennsylvania. Yeah. University of Miami, Ohio. <laughs> right. yeah. the fucking tri- Nobody. Yes. Has, nobody's ever graduated <laughs> from Miami <laughs> University of Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. If you have graduated from that institution, please send us a fucking email. Yeah. I guarantee 0.0 graduation rate. Mm-hmm. I think those schools, too. I had a, I had a couple of buddies that went to IUP. And literally none of them graduated. One ended oh, up yeah. doing like three I didn't. years. Yeah. I sure didn't. <laughs> they, there's just, because they'll take, I don't want to say they'll take anybody, but they take a rougher bunch. Yeah. You know I what don't I mean? even think I applied. I think I just showed up and started going there and they're like, all right. <laughs> Can you get know. Percocet? Yeah, you're yeah, in. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Where's the nose beers? <laughs> are they, uh, all right. That's right. his word. Nose, nose beer. beers. Nose, yeah. Oh, you are yeah. fucking trash. <laughs> nose beers, yeah. That's yeah. It's not my word. It's my friend's word. Uh-huh. We'll put it that way. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Those schools, and I knew a couple of kids that went to satellite campuses. And they, like they Penn go to Penn State like, satellite campus oh, is the top. Penn State satellite campus were fucking Altoona, Altoona <laughs> yeah. Hazleton. Oh, yeah. Oh, you go Pitt, to go there for two years, get Pitt. your grades up, and go to main campus. Mm-hmm. You're fucking terrible. Mm-hmm. Just start yes. selling coke now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I also please. I only knew like three or four people that made the jump from Altoona <laughs> oh, to main yeah. campus. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's, no. that's eight a, years later they're still there yeah. working at some restaurant in town. Yeah, your friends at Maine go on pity visits to see you. Oh. Like, yeah, sure, we'll come out. Yeah, yeah I think I got a no. weekend free in November. Yeah. yeah, that was uh, taking a bus out to somebody's fucking school. <laughs> Ugh, that sucked. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty fucking wow. That's Jeez. a lot. We were on the fence earlier. That kind of pushed you. Yeah. That yeah. pushed you toward the <laughs> El Garbaggio. A little bit. So college was a little kooky. I feel like that's when I started to really hit my garbage stride. <laughs> my parents were kind of like strict. It. And then I was one of those kids, like that, that cliche, like I got free and I was like. Did you drink in high school or anything? I did, but like very sneaky like. Okay. I was never like, yeah. But then when I hit college, I was like. And did your parents find out about the incident with the fight in the cop? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. When they. You can't keep that one. Down. My senior year, when they came to move me out to like, I made it to my senior year and that 
Christmas break is when I dropped out and joined the oh. military. I was like, I became such a dirtbag. They came to move me out, and they're like, this is horrible. My dad, my parents are, like, very strict. They go to, like, pick up the bed and move it or whatever, and there's, like, all these used condoms. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, those aren't mine. <laughs> yeah, no shit. They were the last guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The West Virginia rugby team. Yeah. That's it was, like, the are. only time I've ever seen my dad cry. <laughs> oh, my what? God. Yeah. I was like, uh, Yeah. Holy so, I really shit, dug, Kate. I really dug into it. I said, I'm going to live this life. Really? He started <laughs> crying. Well, it wasn't until, yeah, well, the ride home a little bit. A little bit. Oh, I think it all hit him. My <laughs> sweet baby. You probably had a DJ gig that night. And hit him. <laughs> all, the, all the inmates are waving yeah. as you're leaving. <laughs> see you, Kate. I'll see you in three to five. She was great. <laughs> you got a good girl there. Oh, my God. That yeah. is fucking. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's she was like answering the question. No, we had a cat. You know, Her dad like, crying. That's the fucking best. I would rollerblade from time to time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's too fucking funny, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Anyways. That's so good, dude. How do you feel yeah. about Gogurt? <laughs> let's let's, go, let's go yeah. pull it back a little bit. Were you a Lunchables kid? <laughs> Uh, before or after I was a giant slut. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would say Gogurt's frozen. Go- oh, oh, yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking that about. That is top shelf answer yes. right there. Uh-huh. The older you get, the more you realize all the snacks you loved as a kid are a hundred times better frozen. Oh, I don't know man. why, but let me tell you something. You throw a pack of Sour Patch Kids in the freezer for a couple hours. You got a that real good time. That sounds a little time. weird to me. I but. tell everybody, the devil dogs, the whatever. <laughs> Fuck free, yeah. They suck regular. Drakes. Frozen, they're amazing. Mm. Yes. They're amazing. Yes. You know what we just heard, the, too? And uh, oatmeal cream pies. Somebody mm-hmm. somebody had said uh, Pop-Tarts, right? Yes. Pop-Tarts Ryan in the Chandler freezer. Said Pop-Tarts. Oh, I, didn't, I haven't seen that. I haven't done it either, and but then these Pop-Tarts started selling frozen, like more like cake version. But the same. toaster strudel. That's a good garbage question to uh, ask were you a toaster? Were you a Pop-Tart or a toaster strudel Pop-tart. family? But Pop-tart, I feel like toaster yeah. strudel families are the fancy ones. Oh, You'd think yeah. that, but I've had toaster strudel recently. Yeah? And Not they're great. garbage because you got to do the work. You got to put the fucking icing and on. And it's never enough. Oh, it's fucking trash. Mm-hmm. And then how do you even heat that up? I don't know. I was a Pop Tart kid. I mean, yeah. you're nuts. Cinnamon and sugar Pop Tarts. I was a Toastums kid. We didn't even get name brand Pop Tarts. We got Toastums. Ugh. Yeah, they suck. Your dad should have been DJing on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, your dad should have tried <laughs> a lot. Get his money right. <laughs> you would have turned out great. <laughs> yeah, right? You would have fucked a rugby team, too. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Gang, let's take a quick second and talk about today's sponsor, which I could not be more excited about. I have this product in my home. I have tried it, and it is absolutely fantastic. And, of course, we're talking about real paper. Real paper is here to make sure that you never run out of toilet paper again. No emergency trip to the stores, no random napkins, no paper towels, no flushable wipes that clog up the toilet and aren't good for the environment. I mean, even during the pandemic, Real has made sure that their subscribers have toilet paper. They make an incredibly soft three-ply toilet paper delivered straight to your door. And not only is Real super soft and durable, it's made almost entirely out of sustainable bamboo. Mm-hmm. How amazing is that? Even Reel's packaging is great for the environment since they don't use any plastic wrapping. With Reel, you can pick and choose when you get your shipment so you never run out of toilet paper again. Woo! And the best part about Reel for every roll of toilet paper you buy, Reel helps people in need get access to clean toilets, which is awesome. 2.4 billion people around the world don't have access to a safe toilet, and Reel wants to bring that number down to zero. And you can help just by wiping your butt with real paper. So go to realpaper.com. That's R-E-E-L-P-A-P-E-R.com. And if you use the code GARBAGE, you'll get 10% off a single purchase or your first subscription order. That's great. Do it. Plus, you get free shipping in the U.S. That's realpaper.com and use the code GARBAGE. Use the code GARBAGE. Do some good for the world while wiping your butt. All right. Back. To the show. Hey, in, in college, how many days a week do you think you would drink? Uh, almost seven. Wow. Yeah, I was I love like, it. yeah, couldn't. Yeah, I was that friend that on a Monday night, if you didn't have class Tuesday, no, I was that friend that you could be like, I know who'll come out with me, even though yes. it's a Monday night. Yes. Kate, 
Yeah. I was the same guy. Always. I used to yeah. even do worse. If I didn't have class on Tuesday, and on, so on Monday night, I'd be like, yo, they'd be, yo, come out. They'd be like, oh, I got at 8 a.m. I'm like, dude, you've been got, you were there four weeks in a row. Yeah, come on, or whatever. Yeah. I, just, I would convince my friends to just party with me. Yep, that was If I had thing. class on Tuesday, I was still going out. Because that was the big thing for me when I got to college. I could say no. Like, just being able to not, like, you really didn't have to go to class. Right. And oh, when you're yeah. at college in the beginning of the semester, and you go out on, like, a Monday and get fucked up, and you spend the rest of the day laying around smoking Drinking weed, going Gatorade back and forth and to the cafeteria, uh, ooh, that's fucking dude, clean. I went to Temple, best. and the cafeteria had, like, draft Gatorade. They had, like, you know, like <laughs> yeah. it was out of a machine. Yep. And it came out at, like, 33 degrees. Yeah. Dude. So good. It saved lives, that shit. I that, miss those days, loitering at the chow halls or whatever. Oh, it's loitering the best. At the, That's the, a military reason, every yeah, chow hall. my bad. Cafeteria is chow, chow halls. Hall, yeah. yeah. Did you used to Thank shop you, on, on military bases? Did you go to the exchange? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. We used to go. Yep. My dad was Navy. Ah. Right? He was in Vietnam, and then he recruited out of Willow Grove for mm-hmm. most of my life. And that was always a big thing. The the exchange is on bases, and it's like, like there's no tax. Or no tax. Yeah, they're cheaper. They're always a little bit cheaper. It's, they like, get nice it's stuff. like when you would yeah. go to Delaware to buy a TV or yeah, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the total they'd, wine. They'd sell milk and, and yeah. jeans, like shit like that. But just <laughs> yeah. before anybody was doing that, mm. that was always a big thing. We're going to the exchange. Yep. Maybe stop at the commissary, get some sausage patties, fucking clean living. When Not I the was, links, but the patties. The actual patties. When mm-hmm. I was new, when I was in, because you're talking about military being classy. Officers are classy. Enlisted, we're all garbage. Okay. For the most part. No offense, said with love. Sure, mm-hmm. sure, all sure. Garbage. Of course. But like I used to when I first got in and I thought I was like, I really did. I was like so badass. They taught me like three karate moves. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I could fucking kill anybody Get that I cop want back here now. with my hands. Yeah. I thought I could like take in somebody. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I, I literally had a shirt that I wore unironically. Around town oh my God. with my dog tags out that said it was a bulldog and it said taking a bite out of the Middle East. Like I wore that oh. thinking I was like, I wore that home on leave. Like I, now I want to die thinking about it. But I used to be like, I dare somebody. I fucking dare a I motherfucker. Fuck yeah. I, would, I wish a motherfucker would. Yeah. Here we, got caught, here we got shit. caught and you had that shirt underneath your uniform. You're like, guys, it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a prank. It's uh, yeah. a trick. I'm doing a trick. Yeah. 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 I'll bark. Oh, oh wow. Uh-huh. That's something else. Yeah. How was the food in the military? Obviously, not like out in the field. It was probably bad. But like, I remember I yeah. went to a lot of bases with my dad. Yeah. And ha- ate at a lot of commissaries. I got to tell you, it was pretty fucking good. It's not bad. There would always be like, hurry up, it's Lasagna Fridays. Like, everybody, like, there are certain days where you knew it was going to be gonna good. It was going to be good. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Buffalo chicken salad day was a big one. That was Ooh. hot. Buffalo yeah. chicken salad. Yeah. I'm listening. Pretty trashy. It's no dip. It's no but, dip. <laughs> but, yeah. Hmm. yeah. What okay. are you thinking, Kip? I'm leaning trash, man. Yeah. I think your childhood College is good. College really and pushed it over. This, yeah. we, we're finding this a lot. Like, we just had Ari Shafir, and he grew up uh, Orthodox uh, Jewish. And yeah. then at 20, he broke that, and it was just like, he became Went a crazy. fucking lunatic. Yeah. So it's similar, you know, you grew up under a tighter regime, and then you were like, Warning I to d- parents. This should be a show for parents. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Uh, you hear that, kids? Do you want your kid to be garbage? Mm. You All gotta right. let yeah. him drink a little bit. Yeah. At some yeah. point. You got to go through that. Because it was always the kid at college that didn't drink that, like, like drank like a fifth of Jack Daniels the first weekend. And yeah. it was like in Getting the fucking Carried hospital. out on the gurney yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. All right. I got one here. Growing up, did you have a, did you ever have a cookie cake for your birthday? No. Never oh, had a cookie cake. That's trash. Because you had to like get them in the mall or something. The mall. Yeah. That was like, I, I was jealous of the kids that did. Yeah. But, but looking well, back, it was no good. Oh, yeah. It sucked. If you're going to the yeah. mall to get your fucking birthday cake. It always had eyes on it, too. They always put eyes on it, like fake eyes, like it was a face. It was real garbage. The thing was bringing the kids who brought that into school for their birthday. Mm -hmm. That was like, oh, shit. I, mine was always Rice Krispies with M and M's in it. Ooh. That was my big breed. Homemade, homemade. Ooh. So I don't like to that. Is class Bring right it there? Back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's class. I don't care how many condoms were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking homemade Rice Krispie treats mm-hmm. with Emmys in it. That's uh-huh. that's love right. from a mom right there that'll do that. It, yep. that's pure love. Mm-hmm. I'm all, I, even now. Um, I like an ice cream cake. Don't get me wrong. All right, but no. on my birthday, <laughs> <laughs> picture you more of an asparagus guy. <laughs> But I love when my mom makes my birthday cake. Oh, yeah. Because she always made it when I was a kid. Chocolate chocolate cake with buttercream icing, and she'd make it homemade. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, man. You get to the center of a homemade cake. It's so the moist. Best. There's so much sugar that your teeth, like, hurt. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That's clean living. <laughs> <laughs> 
Clean I agree. Up. Your eyes just rolled back in your head. <laughs> Is there a used condom under yeah. the table now? Did you just? Did you just huh. Jesus Christ. How do you feel about Sherbert? Not a fan. Ooh, Ooh that's good. I don't really that's like it. good. Sherbert's trash. Yeah. Give me the good stuff. Yeah, it's real. the poor man's water ice. Yeah. <laughs> um, Are you a fan of water ice? Yes. Rita's? Yes. Oh, Very nice. Yeah, I like it all. Rita's in a soft pretzel? Good night. Yep. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about Chipotle? Eh. Ooh. Eh. I, why, why so? What just doesn't... I still eat it. I just <laughs> ate it the other day. Like I just a, had it today. I had it like, I have it once a week probably, yeah. but I don't... Good for know. you. Chipotle's trash. They try to act like it's fucking cool. They try to Let's act to like Taco it's a little Bell. fresher. Yes. And right. I think the more they... it It's getting more and more Taco Bellish. where I'm like, this is just like mass-made food that I'm just yeah. shoving yeah. down my face here. I still... Ta- like the Ortega kits growing up, like that to me oh, is Taco oh, Night. Yeah. I can eat 50 of them. And like the Chipotle, so I still am hooked because of that on the hard tacos. You the get hard the hard shells there. Shells. And they're, they like fall apart in two seconds at Chipotle. That's my problem with it. Let me ask you this about the Ortega family pack uh, that has everything big, in it. Big fan. Is it clean living? Or That's is clean, it? clean living. living. Yeah. But I have a question for both of you. Did you guys toast the taco shells? Yes. I don't think we did. Oh. See, that's fucking, because my girlfriend's like, you don't toast them. And yes. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? You put them in the fucking oven for a couple of minutes. You have You're to. eating them raw. Now right. I do feel like they were browned more. Yes. So maybe, I just don't remember. You gotta cook them. But mm-hmm. some families didn't and just fucking ate them hardcore. It's like Yeah, they're stale. Glass. They're hard to chew that way. Yeah, it's like yep. the thickest kettle cooked chip you could possibly get. Mm-hmm. All goes back to chips with you, huh? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Did you yeah. ever get peanut butter and jelly in the same jar? No. Oh, uh-uh. It's called God. goobers. I hate that. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's arguably the worst invention I don't, of the last thousand years. The <laughs> ratio is not the same. There's always got to be more peanut butter to jelly. Yes. Or sandwich yes. or your... Oh, see, I'm a jelly-heavy kind of guy. Oh, no, you can't. Believe it or not. Yeah, that's not... Like a lot of jelly. And you keep Strawberry. jelly in the fridge, but you don't keep peanut butter in the fridge. So why are we combining the two? Very nice. She doesn't keep peanut butter in the fridge. That's great. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a bad We move. kept it in the fridge growing up. Oh. Sucked. Yeah. I use a lot Just of plastic wear, and it makes it really snappy. Oh, on yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have... a bunch of end of fucking <laughs> yeah. plastic knives in there. Oh, there's a little bit of jelly in there, too. That was yeah. always trash. I have cuts on the webbing of my hands from getting, like, haagen dazs with the plastic spoons <laughs> snapping, and, like, I'll just do another one, and they, like, yeah. Well, you get That's Hagen-Dazs. where I'm at now. <laughs> Will you eat the whole pint? You go for the whole pint? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. seem like a gal that's pulling back at the half. Mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> Some people don't. They control it, and they only eat like half. Like, when I'll go into somebody's freezer and find like a half a thing of Ben and Jerry's. I'm like, what are you, a fucking cereal, Kelly? Yeah. yeah. But the smoke alarm go off or something? <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Huh. All right. No Sherbert. We're pulling back a little bit here. We're coming coming back into the black. Mm-hmm. I'm a little confused, I think. I don't know what's going on here with her. <laughs> Very interesting. Do you ever yeah. have to call 911 on a family member? Call 911? No. I've never had to call... No, I haven't. Has any family member ever had to call 911 on you? No. Okay. No, I'm in the clear. Fair enough. Hmm. Yeah. Did you, uh, is there any family members that you currently don't speak to? Ooh. With 13 yeah. on that side, it's got to be t- tough to have no Irish uh, <sighs> egos getting in the way there. No, honestly, I like they all turned out pretty great. Good. It's weird. Yeah, I actually like love my entire family. Wow, that's I good. I know. Going over to this guy's house, like walking through a fucking mind. <laughs> Man. <laughs> really? It, oh, it's don't tough. Mention, don't mention Cousin Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's certain, it. like, you know, if they've had a beer or two, like, I'm just going to walk that way. Yes. <laughs> oh, but, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For other sh- than that. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. For sure. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Have you ever smoked weed out of a soda can? Yes. Okay. Recently? Uh, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> okay. not recently. Uh, probably been a few years. Okay. Do you drink years. eggnog at Christmas? I hate eggnog. Thank you. No, it's all Good awful. for you. Good yeah. for you. Fucking... I love it, but it's oh, garbage. Oh, no. Dude, dairy and alcohol. What are uh, we doing? No. What? A little nutmeg and cinnamon? Come on. Ugh. I love white Russians, but I can't. That's there the only go. That's the only exception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Hmm. Can't. What's your favorite cereal? A Reese's Puffs. Ooh. Hands down. I can eat a whole box to this day. I wow. probably go through a box a week. And That's pretty I have like classic. the giant bowl when I'm hungover. I love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. We used to do it in Tupperwares. Like, oh, yeah. Like a big thing of Tupperware. So good. Ugh. At the start of COVID, I, I live in a studio apartment, 
and I had the huge ass bowl of Reese's Puffs and I flipped the whole thing. It was like full of milk upside down. And this is like a hand-me-down 15-year-old lazy boy. And the smell in that couch, it was... The fucking nightmare fuel. Well, what'd you do with it? Because I ordered a new Lazy Boy because of it. I was like, I can't live. But it's not getting here till this week, and I ordered it like four months ago. Uh, hold on I, a second. Yeah. That's got to go on the file too as a plus. She's got new Lazy new Boy. Lazy new boy. Lazy Boy. You got I'm Lazy Boy money. What did that set you back? Right. If you don't mind us asking, what did that set you back for a new Lazy Boy? For a Lazy Boy love seat, over a thousand dollars. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Not too shabby. I know. How much cash so. you have on you right now? That's, <laughs> That's a good question. You should ask. Me. People. I we think I have like a wad of wrinkled up ones. We do. Someone yeah, just had someone just bro- broke out a crisp blue Greg hundred dollar bill. Yeah. yeah. Cause he was huh. like, he's got a little bit of cash on him, that Greg Fitzsimmons. And I was like, what do you got in the wallet? He's like, I, I was like, I guarantee you got a hundred. You had a fresh on the crisp, like right from the bank. But lazy I have wrinkly boy ones. Money. That's I know. That's no, pretty fucking bag. good. Were you guys a bagel bites or pizza rolls family growing up? Uh, pizza rolls. Ooh. Microwave. Ooh. Microwave pizza trash. rolls. That's trash. <laughs> At least have the decency oh, yeah. to put them in the oven. Them, everything's better in the oven. It was always microwave, but on a paper towel to soak up the grease, and then you had to nibble the edges so the grease wouldn't burn you. Oh, dude, that, that shit in the middle was nuclear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. to take a lip yeah. off. <laughs> That'll so, get you. Uh, uh, what was your frozen pizza situation growing up? Did you guys mess with that? Frozen pizza? Oh, yeah. Elio's all the way. Very we nice. We big Elio's people. Yeah. That was... Did you ever Gentlemen, make... Gentlemen, get a nice round of applause <laughs> in the studio. Yeah. Did you, you ever make it in the microwave? Yes. All yeah. the time. Oh, all the time. Yeah. There's something about getting out of like a, getting off the fresh off the slip and slide out back and running in for a... In you had a slip and slide? For a frozen Go-Gurt and an Elio's. <laughs> oh, was, that's clean living yeah, right there in the is. summer. Yeah. Woo! Uh-huh. That's, a, that's, a, that's a good slice of Americana right there. Yeah. Did you ever upgrade and have yourselves a Stouffer's French bread? No. Hmm. Never. Any Stouffer's products in the house growing up? No. Ouch. Actually, we every now and then frozen lasagna. But there I don't know who's. I don't know if it was Stouffer's. There you go. But definitely the the big brick. Anything Stouffer's frozen is it's... fucking something else. <laughs> I don't this know what they true. put in it. Um, let's do this. Something we haven't done in a minute. Sure. Chocolate milk. Yes. Growing up. Uh, yes. Pre-made? No. Syrup? Syrup. Ah. What would you get? Hershey's. Nice. Yep. All right. Final question. Mm Mm-hmm. What do you put in first, the milk or the syrup? Don't let me down, Kate. Oh, my God. I know what I do, but I don't want to let you down. Tell me. I put the... Here's what I do. I put the milk you're in first. You're blushing right now. <laughs> I know. It makes me nervous. Because I feel like you're a guy who's like, I know my chocolate milk, yeah. and I don't want to be wrong. I put the milk in. I start swirling it already, and then I pour the chocolate into it so it good. swirls as I go. Holy pretty, shit. The go. boys, so round of applause for that. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. I know. I like to watch it get We've never there. had that, I no. don't think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like how you would make it if you worked at a malt shop. You yeah. know what I mean? Get it going. I think, My, it's I, I think I'm garbage. I, was, I put the syrup in first. Yeah. Because I, I want to see it. I don't like it that when you get to the bottom of it then, though. It's like too much. Too much. That's, too why, you have the, that's why you have the long iced teaspoon to scoop up the, the, the hardened. I mean, yeah. dude, if you're buying other utensils for your chocolate milk. <laughs> you're, 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 you didn't have iced teaspoons? You're living I'm a bad sorry. life, dude. <laughs> Nobody had iced teaspoons. I'm the asshole. I don't even know what that's the fucking iced teaspoons. I'm yeah. 33 like years old. long teaspoons for iced tea glasses. I don't know, some restaurant had them. My mom stole them. <laughs> yeah. My mom stole yeah. a bunch once. Your mom's not classy enough to buy separate <laughs> separate spoons for her iced tea. Or make no. iced tea. By the way, she's making powdered iced tea. Yeah, we were a Crystal Lake Same family. year, powdered iced tea. Yeah. 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 Every once in a while, she'd break out the sun tea apparatus, Oh. which sucked as a kid. Zero sugar. Fancy. What's the sun tea apparatus? It's like a glass pitcher that you put out in the sun with a bunch of tea bags and some water. That was weird. That was weird shit. No, you guys ever do that? No, sun I've tea? I've never heard of that. In my life. No. Somebody back I me was... up on this with an email <laughs> or something. Will you? I was a green pitcher with the powdered milk in there or the yeah. powdered fucking iced tea. Would uh-huh. you leave the wooden spoon in there to stir it every time? Leave the wooden spoon in there? What are you talking about? Like the spoon that you would stir so the iced tea with. We used to leave it in the pitcher so that no. when you got it out, you could freshen it up by stirring There's it There's no way times. that's passing a fucking health inspection. <laughs> right. You can't be leaving a wooden a spoon wooden in your spoon. drink. <laughs> I'm like not running a bed and breakfast. It's, like fucking, a slip, it's a yeah. porous culture trap. <laughs> yeah. Man, you're, your family. you got to mix the sugar up a little bit. All right. Get I think I only fresh. got one or two more here. Do you put the ketchup out at Thanksgiving dinner? No. Yeah, that's for what? I don't know. My exactly. family, my cousin does it, and no. I, I, I don't know. I keep an eye on this guy. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh my god. I've never yeah. seen it or heard of it my whole life, and then this 
down the, we were down the shore and somebody was like, this is what she does. And I was like, oh my no. God. Uh-uh. Yeah. Don't do that. Also, too, somebody wrote in, have you ever had chicken for Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, that's Get so your sad. fucking shit together. <laughs> like, totally. That's a you don't have a big enough yeah. place to have Thanksgiving if yeah. you're serving chicken. That's sad. With a little ketchup on it. It'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Have you ever had, as a family, do you ever remember having a whole turkey on any other day but Thanksgiving? No. That's real trashy. Yeah, never. Yeah. Because uh-huh. you know my mom's been breaking out a lot since I've been going back and forth between the burbs? Turkey London broil. Have you ever heard of this? No. It, does not it goes great with a sun tea. It's so, it's so nice. Yeah. What? It's a fucking, it looks like steak, but it's turkey. It sucks. Dude. What? Your mom, Real tell trash. her to watch Emerald Live or something. It's <laughs> yeah. fucking spice she it up. She makes a good bit. meatloaf, though, I'll tell you that. Pretty oh, good on eggplant parm. Meatloaf. Okay, yeah. are you, I, 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 got, I got two more here. Uh, are you a twisted tea or a hard seltzer kind of gal? Twisted tea. Yeah. Spe- Twisted tea lights with a tea floater lights? on top. Oh, yeah. All day. <laughs> What's I'll- a floater? Uh, listen, t- tell them what a floater you put, is. I get vodka in mine, but <laughs> I... <laughs> you dump... Yeah. You dump liquor on the top of it so it's floating at the top and where are you getting this down the jersey shore yeah. that mostly is where i do it yeah, but hit a floater at, and bars in philly area mm-hmm. did you know i there was a study twisted tea light philadelphia is like that area is the number one number seller one market twisted tea lights. i could imagine oh, dude dude yeah. tea lights on the beach it's the best yep, <laughs> fucking tee them up all day long yep do you drink white claws or anything like that we just went over this mm-hmm. yeah, hard seltzers a, or, yeah. oh hard seltzers okay yeah i'm more of a twisted tea okay Fair enough. Yeah. Um, this. Did you drink milk with dinner growing up? Yes, always. Oh, yes, always. That's you a still big do thing it. In the yeah. Foley house. Every now and then. Oh, I know. Okay. I know. I know. I know. Milk with spaghetti. Every day. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. She's trash. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Wrap it up. <laughs> Take down the lights. The move the bread. table. It's not bad. Milk and garlic bread. Oh, oh so good. It even Texas it all toast. Out. Yes. Oh man, yep. there's nothing fucking better than an ice cold glass. I thing. think that's the yeah. nail on the coffin. <laughs> for me <laughs> do you often have breakfast for dinner growing up or no yes wow. yeah who would cook breakfast it your mom dinner. or your dad mom always cooked. wow that's real- it was hamburger helper breakfast for dinner or like she called it goop but it was just elbow <laughs> macaroni with spaghetti sauce in it it was like special all right Dude, we started this thing out at a certain point <laughs> i'm sitting there we- i'm like oh, we're never gonna get to her <laughs> And then she starts talking about fighting cops and yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah, the thing. dad crying was a real turning point in this story. I'll tell yeah, you that. I did. Goop. Tell me. I joined the military after <laughs> yeah. I saw the first tear She's roll like, down his face. I was like, I better redeem myself. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Man. Holy shit. Huh. Hey, man. I gotta go garbage. Hundred <laughs> percent. I did it. Hundred yeah, percent. Great job, yeah. man. Yeah. I was starting to feel good, and then. I, I think I lost Your childhood them. seemed pretty tight. Yeah. You guys, your, your parents ran a tight ship, but then when you got in charge, it kind of fucking yeah. spiraled out a little bit. That's been the trend ever since. The hamburger since. helper, though, that, that came out, the breakfast at yeah. dinner. Would you guys eat at the table mostly, or just sometimes would you eat in the living room around the... We were a table. We were a big table okay. people. TV on? Simpsons, always. Oh, yeah, always the Simpsons. If you're watching the Simpsons at family dinner, <laughs> yeah. come on. That's no good. Yeah. Your parents would watch that? It would just be on. Just love that home. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man. Uh, 100% garbage right there. Yeah. All right. That was awesome. Thank you so Has much. Has anyone Fantastic. been not garbage? I've been listening. Seems like everybody's trash, right? For the most part. For the yeah. most part. We had a couple. We just had somebody in, uh, Karen Feehan, that wasn't. Um, oh, yeah. A couple other comedians that that weren't but so it's typically possible. yeah the bar is lo- for makes me feel comedic better. people oh, the you bar should feel is great that's a gr- <laughs> listen what you just described is a great childhood a great fucking college experience and a great way to be the garbage is something that we should that we embrace on this all right yeah yeah, it's, yeah. all right i love it 100 percent. thank you so much anything Thanks. you want the folks out there to know where can they find you where can they see you uh zero blog 30 it's podcast military oriented but it's just light and fun and it's, it's awesome. for everybody whether you served or not it's just twice a week uh tuesdays and fridays comes out on itunes or wherever you can find podcasts uh I'm just try and keep it funny that's it and then sirius xm 4 to 5 p.m monday through friday very nice and yeah great pretty much it buddy thank you awesome. so much thank we'd you. love to have you kippy what do you got yeah. for him 
Uh, as always, just make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes, on YouTube as well. And if you want to join Gas Digital to get all the perks there, go to gasdigitalnetwork.com, use promo code AYG. You save a couple of bucks, and we make a couple of bucks. Yes, I want to push that even further. Sign up for Gas Digital. You get to watch the episodes in HD quality. You get to be in the fucking live chat going back and forth with me and Kippy. And we're going to have a lot of great extra content coming down the line. We want you guys to all be a part of it. At H. Foley and Ice on Twitter, Foley Grams on Instagram. Uh, what an episode. Yeah, it was great. Absolutely Thank you so much. fantastic. So hey, much if fun. you guys sign up for it, my dad will come DJ one of your parties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. If we could get your he old can, man to DJ the Christmas party. He can do the Christmas party. That's yeah. good stuff. Gang, thank you so much. We love you guys, and we will see you next week. Peace. Peace.